Hello friends! Welcome back to my channel. Today I have another video using one of the scrapbook.com exclusive cut files. This file comes from the pack called My Whole Heart. Um, there's several different cut files in this pack, but this is the one that I chose to work with for today's layout. And I am looking for a background paper right now. I was trying to match that like teal color that's in this collection, but apparently I didn't have any teal. I have a whole lot of aqua and blue, but no teal. Um, so I'm going to end up using not this one. I'm going to grab a lighter one. I didn't really like the way that looked. I felt like it was too bright. Um, these colors from the This Is Family collection. This is the um, collection from Jen Hatfield that I just picked up a couple days ago. Um, so make sure that you check down below if you want this collection. I will have it linked in the description. They are affiliate links. I will also have the um, cut file linked below if you guys want to get your hands on it. It is a digital cut file, so you need a digital um, die cutting machine. So a Cricut, a Silhouette, um, a Scan and Cut, Brother Scan and Cut, I think that's what it's called. I have the Cricut Explorer and it cuts out beautifully. I have no problems with it. I literally just upload the PNG and cut and size it to whatever size I want it and then cut it out and it's super simple, very easy, um, very Cricut friendly, which I appreciate because I've had problems with cut files in the past with the Cricut because they're not PNG files. Um, but I think most companies are now doing PNG files, which is really awesome. So the photo is a photo of my mom and my daughter. This was a couple years ago when Emily played basketball. And um, this was, I think, either before or after her game, my mom came to spend the day with us, or spend the weekend probably. Um, and so I just took this little picture with my phone and I wanted to document it. So the photo paper, I printed this photo off probably two years ago, and this photo paper is actually quite thin. Um, and it's not the photo paper that I use anymore. Um, you can see the stripe <laughs> in the photo behind um like on the wall because the wall was white and so that's a little irritating because I didn't notice it while I was doing it until I took my pictures and then I was like oh well crap um so um it's okay it irritates me just a little bit but it, it's done and it's the layouts I love it I'm in love with the layout so I'm okay with it um so yeah <laughs> Um, so I took some of the papers from this collection and just cut out a whole bunch of different hearts. Um, all I did was trace the outside of the heart and then cut it just a, a little bit smaller. And then I took that heart that I cut out and just traced it on all of the other papers and then cut all of the hearts out and then backed them, um, or put them behind the cut file. And I love the way that this looks. Um, I did a little bit of a pattern. Uh, because I think I had four, one, two, three, four. Yeah, I had four um, different patterns, and I really, really love the way that this turned out. So, so love it. So, if you have a digital die cutting machine, I would highly suggest the scrapbook.com um, exclusive cut files. Like I said, I'll have it linked below, and you can get several cut files in one like pack. Um, which is really cool. I like that. So right now I'm looking through the ephemera. There's two ephemera packs in this collection. One is like words and phrases and then the other one is icons. Um, and there are acetate pieces and some have um, the like copper or rose gold kind of foiling on it, which is really, really pretty. I knew that I wanted to use this journaling card right here because I'm going to journal um, about my mom coming and spending the weekend and going to watch Emily play basketball. And um, so that's why I put that there. I really love the big journaling um, spot. So I have room to write where I don't have to feel like I have to like scrunch it all in a little tiny spot. So there was a die cut that said grandma. And although she calls her Nana, she is a grandmother. So I thought that was perfect. Um, so I'm going to pop it up on pop dots because it's overlapping several different layers. And so that's 
kind of just what I like to do. I like to put the top layer on pop dots and I just think it looks nice. <laughs> um, also, of course, I had to throw in some flowers. Um, so those were behind the grandmother and kind of peeking out from behind the photo. And then there's this rose gold heart that was on the sticker sheet. And I didn't know where to put it, but then I found out, or I figured out that I liked it right there, um, kind of hanging off the edge of the word grandma, and I just thought that that was really cute. So now I am taking a look at the sticker sheet, and I'm going to try a couple things here and there, um, and I'm actually going to put that floral piece right there, um, but I'm also going to put it on pop dots because, you know, um, I like I like putting things on pop dots. <laughs> like I said, it's overlapping several layers, so um, I like the way that, that looks. Um, I'm trying different things in different places. Some of the things just aren't working. Um, I don't want to take away from the photo. I also don't want to take away from the cut file or the journaling where I'm going to do my journaling. Um, so I think that that's pretty much all of my embellishing. I keep it pretty simple because the cut file is really big. Um, you can resize the cut file and make it as small as you want. You can resize these and put them on card fronts. Um, you can do all kinds of things with cut files. You don't have to just use them for giant things on your scrapbook layouts. You can absolutely use them in traveler's notebooks and you can resize things and it's really fun. So I'm using these um, thickers. I think they're from a Chamel collection um, and I don't have that many left. And I thought that these would be perfect. They're the same colors as the rose gold in this collection. So I thought that it would work. And then I'm going to bring in these little alphas and they're super old. I've had them in my stash for a really long time. And I guess they were just waiting for the right layout. These are from Simple Stories. And the title is going to be Today Was Awesome. Um, it's always awesome when you get to spend the day with your grandmother, right? <laughs> uh, I know that I always had a great time with both of my grandmas. And all through, actually, all three of my grandmothers, I have a step-grandmother, and we always had fun together. Um, and it was always special when, you know, we would get visited by my grandmothers, or I would get to go spend time with them. And so I know that Emily enjoys her time with my mom, and so I thought that that would be a really good title. So today was awesome. <laughs> Pretty simple. I'm going to add a couple of the like dots from these thickers kind of in um, clusters of three just like I would enamel dots and then that is going to be my layout for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you're not already a subscriber. I would love to have you as part of my YouTube family. If you are already a subscriber thank you so much for your support. I truly appreciate you so so much um, and yeah leave me a comment below and let me know if you have any of the cut files and which ones um, and I will have them linked below and you can get your hands on them and create some beautiful projects. Thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to spread love and be kind. I hope that you all have an amazing day. Bye!